How's it going guys? My name is Wilson. Tyreek Evans has been banned from the NBA for two years for violating the league's anti-drug program. The 29-year-old two-guard made the worst decision of his basketball career. For a guy who's heavily underachieved since his rookie season to being in danger of falling out of the NBA to reviving his career last season, it would be an absolute travesty if this is the lasting image of Tyreek Evans' NBA career. Drafted 4th overall in the loaded 2009 NBA draft class, the 6'6'2 guard out of the University of Memphis was compared to Jamal Crawford and Larry Hughes. Given his talent, in the class filled with plenty of talents and up and coming young stars, Sacramento finished 17 and 65 the season before. The first three picks were Blake Griffin, Hashim Tabi, and James Harden. The Kings had to make a tough decision whether to draft Evans, Ricky Rubio, or Steph Curry, and they went with Tyree. With Kevin Martin the only bright spot on the team, went down with an injury after five games, it was clear the Kings were Evans' team. The offense was isolation, and the rookie was incredible, got to the rim better than any player in the league not named LeBron James. With lots of hype and excitement, Evans exceeded expectations, put up all-star numbers of 20.1 points, 5.3 rebounds, 5.8 assists, putting him in elite company, being one of only four rookies in NBA history, and Michael Jordan, Oscar Robertson, and LeBron James to put up 25-5. and five. A historic rookie campaign, Kings fans celebrated his accomplishment like they just won a championship. Won Rookie of the Year over Stephen Curry, who averaged 17 and a half points, four and a half rebounds, 5.8 assists. The best moment of his career happened on December 29, 2010, after OG Mayo hit an off-balance shot to put Memphis up one. Another player who was banned for the same reasons, Evans drained the half-court buzzer beater to give Sacramento a two-point win. Dropped the career best 35 points a couple weeks later, but missed 19 games due to injury. Had an underwhelming second season, averaged 17.8 points. Shot 46% his rookie season, falling to 41% his second year. Had some weaknesses in his game. Struggled in the half court setting, particularly in the spot up. Was not a good shooter. Also bothered by injuries, combined with the dysfunction of the Sacramento Kings franchise, where everything went wrong. With the lack of player development, the franchise wasn't sold on Evans as the perimeter playmaker. Moved him as the shooting guard, where he couldn't shoot. Sometimes even played him at the small forward position. No wonder why he had his best season his rookie year, where he maximized his strengths, creating plays, muscle past smaller defenders at the 1 and wasn't forced to spot up. Another reason for his disappointing efforts was also his lack of work ethic, where his body language clearly shows he doesn't care much about basketball or winning, was not a good leader, and being in a horrible situation with the Kings made his career worse. Evans as a player would have exceeded better being on a team with strong veterans like a Tim Duncan or Kevin Garnett. He had to deal with DeMarcus Cousins, who was the best player with an awful attitude, always losing his cool, and the franchise failed in every aspect to control any of their young guys with the experienced presence the locker room needed. As the seasons went by, Steph Curry and James Harden were emerging into superstar players who would take over the NBA. Blake Griffin was a top 10 player in his prime, and DeMar DeRozan continuously got better each season. Evans on the other hand never improved on any part of his game, was an extremely talented player, was quiet on the court and in the locker room, kept to himself for the most part, lacked passion for basketball. His first four seasons with Sacramento, he started 247 of 257 games. Another option where he would have benefited was to be the sixth man, run the offense coming off the bench, which would have given his team a huge boost. But the discombobulated franchise was too dumb to understand anything. The team went a horrendous 99 and 213 over Evans's first four seasons there. At that point, Tyreek simply lost all confidence in his game, could have demanded a trade or showed his frustrations towards the organization earlier, but simply let time go by. The Kings gave up on him, where Evans was a acquired by the Pelicans in 2013 in a sign and trade deal for a 4 year $44 million contract where he continued to be a solid starting caliber player but he didn't run the point since the team already acquired Drew Holiday from the Nerlens Noel trade but Tyreek was still 24 years old, played the 2 and 3, put up ok numbers, averaged 14.8 points, 4.8 rebounds, 5.6 assists over his time with New Orleans, made the playoffs for the first time in his career in 2015 but injured his right knee the following season, played only 25 games. New Orleans later traded him back to Sacramento in the middle of the 2016-17 season. Somewhere he didn't want to be again as a salary cap filler in the DeMarcus Cousins trade. As the NBA started to change with the three-point game, thanks to the Rookie of the Year runner-up Stephen Curry, Evans started getting less minutes, averaged 10.3 points on 40% shooting in 2017, signed an awfully low $3.3 million contract to join the Grizzlies for the 2017-18 season, where 
where he was supposed to be in the prime of his career, Evans found himself fighting for a spot in the NBA, but proved doubters wrong, revived his career, put in the work on his 3 point shot, a very respectable 40%, was the best player on the team many nights, put up his best numbers since his rookie season. In 52 games played, Tyreek averaged 19.4 points, 5.1 rebounds, 5.2 assists. Part of his revival was when Mike Conley went down with injury, where Evans became the team's starting point guard, showing flashes of his rookie season, making plays for his team. This time, with a good 3 point shot, even broke Mike Miller's 3 point franchise record for making at least 1 3 in over 27 games as a Grizzly, but he wasn't getting much attention. Since Memphis won a horrible 22 and 60 overall, the team was basically tanking and wasn't competitive in the second half of the season. His per 36 minutes of 22.6 points, 5.9 rebounds, 6 assists was most intriguing. All star numbers he should have been putting up all along. Memphis gave him a great opportunity to prove what he's capable of, was also making 20 million dollars less on the season than useless Chandler Parsons and was the way better player than Parsons. Evans would earn himself a one year 12 million dollar contract with the Indiana Pacers. Viewed as a guy who can provide more spark offensively, coming off the bench for Victor Oladipo didn't sound like a bad idea, but he wasn't used properly, played off ball for the most part, which showcased his weaknesses in the past, started 18 of 69 games, but wasn't highly used in the rotation, averaged just 10.2 points, 2.9 rebounds, 2.4 assists in only 20 minutes of playing time, and shot a career low 39% from the field, would average 15.3 points in the 4 game sweep in the first round against the Celtics, simply didn't live up to expectations, struggled at the rim, making only 134 of 308 layup attempts, the minus Sabonis often cleaned up his misses, even missed a few games for personal reasons that were never elaborated, but his brother tweeted about him being misused and that he'd rather not play at all and says it's almost over, thank god, in early March. Just a few weeks after being swept by the Celtics, it was announced on May 17th, the 29 year old was banned by the NBA for violating the anti-drug policy. Which type of drug he was using, we won't get that information. We know it's not something simple, but what a dumb decision, as Evans still had plenty of years left as a productive player, an absolute disappointment where it will cost him millions of dollars. He could have gotten a 2 year 20 million dollar contract somewhere else, be a solid player off the bench, but two years later, he'll be 32, where he'll be eligible to apply for reinstatement to the NBA, but he's never gonna get these precious years back, the lowest point of his basketball career, wasting his talents, and the only person he can blame is himself. A year ago, it seemed like Tariq Evans was getting his NBA career back together. Viewed as one of the biggest comeback stories, now he won't be playing in the National Basketball Association for at least two years. As a professional, it was his responsibility to follow the rules and guidelines, and now he will suffer the consequences, something he will forever regret, likely for the rest of his life. Thank you so much for watching this video. I talk NBA comparisons, amazing storylines, NBA history, and anything basketball that will interest you. If you love the NBA, subscribe for more content, more great stuff coming soon. I love all of you. See you next time.